Hey guys, Tyler here. Dicey Dungeons just got a huge new update today. They're calling it a free DLC. It's the Dicey Dungeons Reunion. And it's just a big update with one new episode for each character. And I don't really know what to expect. Uh, generally, each episode implies a different set of rules. But I'm curious what the hell the deal is with this. Reunion special, adorable as ever. It's a talk show. I hate talk shows, actually in real life they're just bad it's that simple and catapulted into the first floor yeah okay this looks new wakizashi i know what lockpick is i guess i'm the thief first of the characters easiest of this bunch it might be designed for people that just have not played this uh, character in a while i could steal Come on yeah i'll keep the card well, this is all nice and new. I'm gonna split my dice into two so I can get two damage and then one extra damage. New stuff. It doesn't actually appear that there are different rules, but I think the enemies are new and harder. I mean, the background's definitely new. I don't recognize that. All right, a little lock pick. And then this will finish off. It took a bit of damage already, but I don't suspect it'll be too bad. I mean, I always should steal. This is not quite how I remember the thief, but I guess it's been a while since I've actually done the OG thief. I've done a couple more uh, <laughs> different types of ways to look at it. So I'll steal the nudge and split it in two. Oh nice, three damage, get a new blind dice. Well, first thing is, can I use it in here? It was a one, awesome. Well, that's great. I'll use this and I'll deal two damage. Getting them next turn no matter what. Starts with four dice. Uh, it's scary. Oh, that's a new weapon. <laughs> it counts down. Okay, maybe I should try not stealing at some point. Just to see what that ends up looking like. This nudge is actually wonderful here. And there we go. So do I always get to keep the one I stole? I think so. Yeah, next time I'm gonna not steal, just see if I get offered a different one. Oh, there's no chess on this floor. It's just fights, apples, and shop. So this is a countdown reduction. Oh, all of his things are the same, so I'm not gonna find out anything here. Well, lockpick gives me two dice. How about I get a new blind die? What does this do? It's big. Well, let's see. Is it... Ah, it was a six. I should have put it in. It was a 50-50. Well, I guess it's going in here. I suppose I'll reduce a random countdown by three. It's gonna take a bit to actually get this guy. Feels good to be back. I slowed down on playing this just because it was starting to get a little bit repetitive, but I'm always here for new content. I'm curious to see how they switch it up. Well, I guess I have a new limit break, double attack damage for the rest of the turn. I was gonna say, oh, it's a spiky sneeze again, but I went over that already. Anyways, I should definitely berserk because I think I could win. See how this splits. Oh yeah, definitely. So I actually don't get a chance to steal because I never pressed the steal button. Cool. Well, these... Paper Sword seems interesting. Deal seven damage, increase the cost by this by three. See, paying three and six to get seven damage is a really good deal, actually. But hey, I'll buy it. I'll probably get rid of the Nudge. It's the weakest out of the bunch for sure. How about I take out an Alchemist? It's the one with the potions, right? Transform for one turn. They're all transformed for one turn, but transformed to different things? Part of me wants to become a singer, but... First, I'm actually gonna do the Inky Juggle on two, because I want to do Paper Sword for three. Let me see if this can be hit here. Yeah, for four, it's really good. And always split the two. Do I want to become a singer, or do I want to become something else? You know what? Sure, I'll keep the singer potion. And uh, they're gonna be transforming a lot. I see. See, so be they become something which gives them a specialized weapon. Didn't really do that much. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to sing her. 
And even if I'm able to, will I want to? Because what if I can just win? It's possible, depending on the blind die. Oh, yep, perfect. You know what? I am curious to see what transforming does. I'm a singer, return a useful dice, or karaoke machine. Perfect. There was a chance I just didn't get lethal there, but I wasn't scared. Sure, I'll steal the singer potion. What the? Set a random dice to this number and then return the dice. Reduce the countdown on all equipments. Do I have a countdown bill going on? I have only one thing that counts down. You know what? Berlin key is entirely new because it seems like there are just a ton of new attacks and things. So I guess I could try to use it. To be honest, I don't know what I'm getting rid of though. Maybe Inky Juggle? I really like Paper Sword. I don't want to get rid of it. But I think Berlin Key could be nice. And final fight before I'm out of here. Right, I definitely do not have Shock. Oh, on a six, I could deal one, get plus one dice next turn. That is baller. Hold on, so Paper Sword's going. And then I turn my one into a six, but you know what? I should have split it first? No, no, because I want to split the six. That was the worst outcome. Um, it didn't matter though, I'm killing him next turn regardless. <laughs> what a weak disco ball use. Oh no, I guess I'm weak, but I'm probably winning this turn. Uh, Paper Sword just got worse, I don't know then. Yeah, I can deal damage here, deal two damage, and then with Berlin Key. And Wakizashi, finish him off. Sure, I'll take the Disco Ball. It's pretty big though. I don't know if I'll have time or space to use it. All right, so more jungle floors. Really do want to make my way towards an anvil. What does the Haunted Jar do again? Strong against poison. I don't have any elements. Oh, so I don't really want to use his stuff, huh? Wait, what does Toxic even do? Does it turn my damage into poison? If it turns it into poison, then I definitely don't want it. I will take a Berlin key. Split it, see what I get. Whatever. Okay, I am curious of what Toxic does. Oh, when they use equipment, inflict poison to themselves. If I knew that was coming, I probably would have taken my two damage. Because that's why I missed out on. Well, maybe this actually is better damage than I'm giving credit for. That's three poison right there. I'm sure it's only two damage a turn, but still fine. Now, me applying poison to myself kind of stinks. Oh, I don't want to inflict too much poison to myself, but... You know what? I might just do a paper sword. And not inflict too much self-poison. For better or for worse. Still getting hit with toxic. That's fine. It's less bad this turn. Ooh. Okay, I only inflict one poison myself, so this is fine. I can win this turn. Yeah, so I Berserk, key the four, and deal 16 damage here. Alright, navigated that one as well as I possibly could have. I actually do think that went quite well. Even turns, deal damage or shield. Interesting. Probably won't use it. How about the fireman? Not the kind that uh, saves you, more the kind that burns. Well, Paper Sword always. Then I will lock pick then Berlin Key. Pretty good turn one damage, half of it. Odds are... Ooh, I will not be able to finish him off. Well, dice on fire, maybe. I don't think I care. I'll just let this ride. Take another four. Do more damage here. And get close to finishing him off next turn for sure. Just don't hurt me too bad. Okay, only getting hit with Blaze of Glory. Interesting. It says double if enemy is burnt. How would I even get burnt? I mean, obviously my opponent is burnt, so maybe it's just something for me and not something I had to fear. Anyway, leveled up, another die, 
And let's see what I can upgrade. What does Paper Sword do? Nine damage. Why don't I take Berlin Key? Yeah, three uses. I'm certainly going to get a lot of mileage out of. I am actually surprised it got the three uses treatment because, I mean, that's going to get massive value here. Well, yeah, this is solid. So hold on. I go lockpick. I paper sword, of course. And now I just get six. Just realized it's a little bit less good than I thought. I'm still going to keep doing it. Probably keep counterspell six. Or I could just go with the flow. Well, I figured I could just do Cathode Ray again and again. Pretty good turn. Okay, I can't roll two. Oh, no. Actually hit one, but that's fine. No need to Berserk. It's looking all good here. Maybe I could have kept Counterspell, huh? Yeah, maybe I could have. I mean, it's fine. I... This is, this is weird to think about. Whoa, it's a beach background. God, this is very bright. <laughs> the, the, my eyes almost need a second to adjust. Onto the handyman. A lovely theming, I'll say. Ooh, deal damage and deal more damage if they're shocked. I will keep the transistor around. Well, let me count my damage here. So I was gonna lock pick. I was gonna deal six, 10, 16. I guess I just win this turn. So why not? I need time to get a chance to win on turn one. You take it. I'll take the transistor. I guess I'm not going to use it though, am I? Oh, level four fight. I don't know if I feel ready. Uh, especially not with these rolls. Ooh, deal five damage at random status. I will keep that one. Here we are. I don't want this five. I certainly dire wolf bite. And I guess I could just make everything a four. That maximizes damage. So get this, get this. Paper sword and ray gun. Good turn. Oh no, he wants to repeat his next action. Hope I don't give him the chance. Let's see. A little fury. Definitely splitting my one. I think I'm gonna be a little bit shy. Ain't that a shame. Well, still do everything I can. And just mope. Cursed. Equipment has a chance to fail. Maybe that'll work in my favor. Oh, he can't even bite me. Well, get owned. Sure, I'll keep this. Not like I actually want it. Haven't taken any damage on this floor, and I'm gonna heal after this fight. He's looking good. Do two damage, inflict one burn, and re-roll the dice. Do I want to re-roll the dice, though? Oh, wait, maybe I get this back. In that case, that's pretty good, I think. Yeah, that's actually cracked. Seven damage for sure. Split this in two. Do the damage. And send it. Baller first turn. Ooh, and that hurts for four. Oh, but he can kind of keep scaling. Or not scaling, he can just keep cascading. Yeah, all my dice are on fire. That's fine. I'm used to it at this point. I'll try to take as little damage as possible, though. So I'll take the one, split it. I should not need to Berserk this turn. Oh, I heal after this fight, so Kawabunga it is. So let's just make everything a three. I guess I just realized this definitely does not consider dice that are already threes. I was thinking about like, what are the odds that I haven't just re-rolled a three into a three, but it seems like the game has just directly prevented that, which I appreciate. Huh. Deal zero damage, add one damage on each item used. Do I use a lot of items? Yeah, I kind of do. You know, I'm going to try Backstab. It's new. Seems exciting. It's probably better than Cathode Ray Gun. Because this is three uses, this is use. I wonder if this persists between turns. I get two uses out of this. Yeah, Backstab could be a lot of damage. Mechanical Leg. 
So you have two damage for each unused dice. Interesting. Lockpick's actually pretty integral to my build right now. Because the whole Berlin key plus combo, you know, lockpick enables that. And plus lockpick now makes backstab better because it's an easy way to just get more equipment uses. Ooh, well, fight for this upgrade though. Alright. Hmm. Do I wanna curse him? I could also make the enemy lose a dice for the rest of the fight. Oh, that's dirty. I wanna keep that. That seems insane. Okay, well, first off. I am gonna berserk. Let's lock pick right now. Then I wanted to two-handed skull for pretty big damage and the curse. And then Berlin key. I mean, threes are just sick here. So what happens if I use this now anyway, huh? Gives me more stuff. Well, I'll use another equipment. Now I'll use another equipment and the final one. Nice turn. Perfect lethal. Uh, if I had even messed the one calculation, he would have taken a swing at me. Not today. So lock pick. Well, on six split and a three. Oh, it, it would take odds. I'll take a backstab plus. Uh, just the fact that I can use a one on backstab plus now is worth the price of admission. And with that in mind, I'll take on a kraken. Ooh, curse the enemy. And I'm thinking about splitting my six into two. Like, what is the six really doing anyway? Super awkward. I can't waste my backstab plus, but that means I'm not gonna be able to use Berlin key because that's gonna ruin the backstab plus Well, unless if I want to try Oh wait, I could do a bit of a shuffle So I'll paper sword just to not lose the four because it's the only way it's not left of chance here I could turn the one into a two or the two into a one the one into a two well, and then I can Do the two do the two do the one I guess I could have actually just done that again and again yeah, yeah, use it on itself. God, this is so strange to think about. I'm getting confused. What does that do again? Oh, mixed up in obscured equipment. Okay. Oh, they made this way more confusing. Oh, wait, no, no. This is as confusing as it's ever been. It's just I have a good knowledge of what my deck is. So this curse is an enemy, I believe. This does seven. This, of course, is the equipment thing. And then these are my two utilities. So for starters, I'm gonna try to split the one. Ooh, yikes. Um, I didn't even notice I was cursed. Okay, well, three's going into here. What was it? That was the split, which is fine. I think this is best damage. If I use this twice and make a little progress on the countdown and then launch it, I get technically would get a little bit more damage if I had used the countdown, but sets up for a slightly better next turn because I think I was only gonna use it once more I was never gonna spend nine for an additional paper sword now it's just damage time though I'm gonna take my six and split it into two son of a well I don't miss the six but that makes things extremely complicated now play like this deal seven release the shock and just build up my backstab plus still nice to do four damage from a one -er. Is this gonna hurt much? Well, I'm gonna get confused, but not cursed this time. Thank God. I can handle confusion. It's just the curse, man, is tearing me apart. Okay, one of these splits my five. There we go. Well, and I win now. Ah, that fight wasn't too bad. It's kind of nerve-wracking, but that's really it. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna die to the gargoyle. If it does kill me, then I, well, I guess I misplayed, but this isn't maximum value from the apple. I want to have maximum value or maximum HP going into the loud bird fight, and this is how I do it. Split the dice into two on six lock one dice. I assume it means it locks their dice. Yeah, that's a fair assumption to be working under. Nice. That's half their dice. That's a big deal, actually. So best way I think to go about this is try to hit the five, hit the four. Well, I guess I'm not gonna get uh, to be able to really use every dice. I'll just use the rest of these and backstab them and carry on. And not even half. Ooh, the six is not good though. Oh God, three locked dice? Oh no, okay, never mind. six did not happen. 
It's only on six. Good God. Scary. I guess just go for a ton of dice. Take my two damage. Take my Berlin key. And backstab him. Next turn for sure. Ooh, that's a fine roll by me. We get hit, but I don't think I'll need to Berserk to kill. Yeah, 7 plus 8 just gets me there. So I don't even need to think too hard about this. I'll just take my exact lethal and get the hell out. And I've got two tasty apples waiting for me. That loud bird fight will be nice. None of this stuff appeals to me. How did I get 11 gold? Just no shops? Well, since this is the last possible place I can buy anything, I might as well take the apple, even though it's inefficient. It uh, saves me in case the loud bird does exactly 38 or 39 damage to me. You can never be too safe. Caw, caw, caw? Huh? Does this actually do anything? I'm gonna steal it. What happens if I caw? When you use any equipment, inflict weaken. Reduce by one each time it triggers. Interesting. Well, now I know. Guess I'm not berserking this turn. I don't want to berserk this fight. To be honest. Uh, this is still an okay turn one. I'll get him in a few turns. Want to be have berserk ready for the boss. Oh, so I'm gonna get caught. At least the bird gets weakened. How do you like that? Oh, you want to go? You want to go? Caw, caw, motherfucker. Right, so I got cawed. It happens to the best of us. Oh, backstab minus kind of stinks, huh? What does this do? Max of three? I don't like that. Whatever, I'll set up a good paper sword then. For next turn. Okay, no caw to me. Oh, it's just caw caw. Alright, this is fine. I don't really need my sixes. I make do with low numbers quite decently. Yeah, paper sword. This is slightly better, and then I'll buff up the backstab. People say uh, the loud bird could be a terrifying fight with the wrong deck, although I've never run into any problems with this guy. He just seems like, well, he's there to be annoying. Okay, can I win right now, though? Uh, the cause kind of make it a little random. I'm just going to continue to be annoying back. I'll split, see what I get. Oh, Paper Sword just became crap. Well, this is very much terrible damage. Hopefully, I'll be able to get him next turn. Oh god, I'm gonna continue to get caught. Oh, and he takes two less damage from, from every attack this turn. You know what? I'm gonna do Caw last. So, I'm gonna start with uh, one of these. Paper Sword is fine. I don't even miss it. That's okay. And there goes my backstab. Very sad. Probably would have done enough damage if the backstab didn't get hit. But I mean, the odds of it getting hit were so low. Or so high. Okay, it's over now. The fight has gone on for long enough. What does this max level thief do? So I get my caw and an extra dice. Well, do I want to bring the caw with me? As much as I like the caw, I, ju I just can't justify it. I have a very specific flow state that my build has been going for. I mean, you've noticed I haven't been stealing much lately, and that's because I actually really like my current build. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it ain't broke. So I I've just been keeping it here because really there's been no issue. Oh, but the damn bird reset my berserk. That asshole. Okay, do I keep a sting? Next turn, switch to Parallel Universe Shock. I don't know what that means. I also don't know what sting does. But you know what? Let's find out. Let's hope to get three and three. Yes. Very nice. 
So Sting One does, when you use any equipment, inflict shock to yourself. Well, the amount of damage I have is... Okay. Eh, only three unused. And I'm gonna have a higher and higher damage requirements every single turn anyway. Ah, uh, so the self-shock did not matter here, but I will have two self-shock. We'll start with a paper sword. Take a worker bee now. I think I can actually get away with using lockpick here. I spend two dice to gain two dice. And they're all becoming threes anyway. Just use it all up. And then I can use this once to get maximum backstab plus value. Going swimmingly. If I don't kill her next turn, I'll get her the turn after. But I think it's berserk time. Oh yeah. It's berserk in time. It's as good as over unless if I get the worst rolls ever. Which I didn't. Let's get ready to send it. First, big damage here. Lock pick here. Oh yeah, paper sword. And then backstab plus. Hey, not too bad. First fight of the new update. Lots of cool new stuff. Once again, there's one new fight with every new character. The rest are gonna be harder than this. Cause yeah, two stars difficulty. This one's three stars, four stars, five, five, six, two, okay. So I'm definitely mostly interested to see the witch and the robot, but I'll build my way up. Assuming people wanna see more of this. Is Dicey Dungeons, it's always a good time. So thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next Dicey video. Have a wonderful day and peace.